Welcome back to our show. Wake me up. Wake me up. All right. So we are now at the exercise number six, and let's do it. Number two. I don't understand your question. She said to me. She said to me. All right. So remember, I don't understand your question. That is from direct speech, and we'll transform it into the reported speech. That is, she said blah 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 question. All right. So, in the direct speech, we can see that is the present simple structure. So, remember, transform into the reported speech of the present simple in the direct speech will be past simple. All right. She said to me, remember to fill in all of the parts after the sentence. She said to me that she. Didn't understand my question. All right. Remember to change the possessive. All right. Possessive adjective. He said to me. She said to me. She said to me that. Ah. Uh, said to me that you can. Ah, uh, put this one out. Ah. Uh, Whenever you want, she said to me that she didn't want, want I didn't and didn't understand, understand my question. All right, my question, my question. Change the possessive. Let's read for number three. We sold our car last month," he said. So he said, "All right. So uh, we sold our car. So sold. It is the past simple and changed into the uh, reported speech that is." Past perfect. The time last month transformed into the reported speech that is the previous month, or you can say the month before. Correct the same as correct as as the book. So we sold our car last month. So he said that they had sold their car. Last month, the month before. All right. So remember to change we into they. All right. And our car we transform into their car. All right. So he said they had sold their car. Their car. We have the word car. Last month will be transformed into the month before. All you can say the previous, the previous month. All right. Let's read for the last one, number four. Number four. I'll give you your book back tomorrow. He said to her. So remember first. He said to her that. He said to her that. You you can put this part in. She said to her that. He said to her that. I will give you your book back tomorrow. So I will give you a book back. So that is in the direct speech. It is will. All right. So it will be transformed into the reported speech. That is would plus infinitive. So what I would give you, your I would give you what would give first that one. So he said to her that he would give. All right, so let's decide next. I will give you your book. So he said, I would I I would give you your book. So he said he would give her. Give her. He he said he would give her book back. 
So the book belongs to her. Give her book back. Give her book. Give her book back. All right. So it's set right there tomorrow. So tomorrow will be transformed into reported speech. That is the next day or the day after. All right. All right. So we have finished the exercise number six. Let's now moving on to the look at box on page number 55. Look at box, say and tell. So remember, remember two things right over here in the look at box. Tell somebody something. All right. <coughs> I've said a lot. Tell somebody something. Example, she told me her name. All right. Not she sent me her name. No. But if you want to use the word say, it will be say something to somebody. All right. Say something to somebody. Example like, we said goodbye to our cousins. All right. So remember, tell somebody about something. Say something to somebody. All right. The two examples right over there. You can look at your book or you can look at the screen. Let's now moving on to the last exercise. Exercise number six. Exercise number six right now. And, uh, ba -ba -ba. exercise number six, page number 55. We have finished the exercise number, what? Exercise number eight. Eight. Now 68. Exercise number eight. Number eight. Complete the sentences with said or told. Then re rewrite. Rewrite the direct speech as the reported speech. So, we have to complete with said or told in the direct speech first. Then, we will have to rewrite it. Rewrite those sentences in direct speech. Rewrite it into reported speech. So first, let's put tell or say. All right. Example right over there. Sentence number one. I'm not. Uh, I'm not feeling well. Let me. I'm not feeling well. What? Why? I'm not feeling well. My sister told me. I'm not feeling well. My sister told me. So first, my sister blah 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 me. So told somebody. Tell something. All right. Tell somebody something. She, my sister, told me about she wasn't feeling well. So let's remember to fill in to tell or say, then transform it into my sister told me. The sentence in the direct speech, the structure it is present continuous, and transform it into. Past continuous. So, so, not feeling well. My sister told me she wasn't feeling well. So, number two, let's do it right now. Let's do as a try. You have done really well. You have done really well. My dad, what me? My dad, what me? Uh, I think the answer will be. Told, all right. Told, tell somebody something. Tell somebody something. Tell my dad. Tell me, I might have told me that. That thing. So first, the answer will be told. Then the blanks we will rewrite it. Rewrite it. All right. So you have done really well. My dad said to me. My dad told me. My dad told me. So, my dad told me. My dad told me that. My dad told me that. Told me what? We'll be right back with the next part of the show. We'll finish the exercise number eight with the rest of the sentences. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right.